Hi, I'm Dominic Benner. Thanks for watching Dominic's Woodworks. And today I have a special guest in my shop. Two buyers back. And no, I'm not letting her on camera. No, I'm not. Anyway, the reason she came by, or rather the reason I actually let her in, is the Whirligig Wars and the Make-A-Wish Foundation, which the Whirligig Wars are supporting this year. Yes, she came back because it's for a good cause. She does not want to support me with my whirly gig. She calls it something else, but she has something to offer. She has written a poem. Yes, that was my first reaction too. But we talked about it and she agreed to play nice. She said it was for a greater good. And I think the Make-A-Wish Foundation does qualify. This is also the reason why I haven't been trash talking yet, and I probably won't be trash talking because it kind of doesn't fit the well, mood, or I don't know. Maybe I'm just getting old, but here's two by poem. Enjoy. A big tree I was from acorn chestnut opinion. Along came a lumberjack, an axe wielding minion. He cut me down and brought me low, with one after another sharp edged blow put me on his truck, not to care about how I feel, took me to the sawmill, first my bark to peel. There I was, naked and cold. The sawyer said I was for fine work too old. Still he put me through the saw I had seen, a tree for the longest time I had been. Chunky and rough is how I turned out, no hope left to crow, there was no doubt. For quite a while I laid there and dried freezing in winter while in summer I fried. Then finally, after all those years, someone bought me, I was close to tears. When he took me home I felt a little distraught, because to a woodshop I had been brought. With saws and chisels and planes and a bench, the sight was enough for my hopes to quench. He let me sit and watch as he chopped, only to cut me up for a project that flopped. What little remained of me was left with a snap in the box that held the barbecue scrap. Deeper and deeper I sank as he piled more pieces upon me, but then he smiled. He picked me up and gave me new shape, working hard to make real my escape. Eventually I would yet be free, maybe more so than back in my tree. After long times of searching, he who left me for dead, for a piece he was making, found in me its new head. A big tree I was, with branches in the sky. Through darkness and fear, now even higher I fly. We talked about it. I clamped her to my desk. No, no, I'm not letting. It's not that I don't trust you, I just don't trust, trust you, trust you. One glimpse at the camera. Okay. Ow! Damn, you bit me! I can't believe you just bit That's a good cause you were talking about.